I'm here at my butler's son's garage, if you know what I mean. Hey. And uh, hey, hey, can you can you can you keep that down, please? Yeah. I'm trying to record a video here, okay? So, uh, where was I? Yeah, I'm I'm here at my butler's son's garage. Hey, hey, I, I can still fire your dad, okay? Well, actually, I'm also at my butler's garage, and see, also my garage. By showing you all these garages. I want to establish authority and credibility so you will believe what I'm about to tell you, okay? A garage type style of teacher would then tell you about the different real estate marketing trends of 2024. He would then also tell you about how he made a zillion of dollars with all of that and how you can do this too. Well provided you purchase his course for just 24 for just 24k and that's it. I won't promise you that you will make a gazillion of dollars, but I will still give you in this video eight real estate marketing trends and lead generation trends for 2024 that will likely dominate, but you will not only learn about these trends, also about the risks of blindly following these trends in 2024, 2025, 2026 and beyond. By the way, I researched and found these trends in a Forbes and Digital Marketing Institute article. I then took those trends and applied them to real estate use cases. And the first trend on my list is AI marketing automation. So while the AI hype may be less now, it's not going away. And the trend in AI marketing automation will be AI powered chatbots and messaging apps. You can use them on your real estate website and social media platforms. And these tools can offer instant responses to queries. For example, they can provide personalized property recommendations and automate follow-up communications. This can enhance the customer experience and build strong client relationships. Number two is augmented reality and virtual reality. You can use augmented reality and virtual reality to offer virtual property tours. This immersive technology can help you provide a realistic experience of the property. Also, it can help potential buyers to visualize the space and its potential without physically visiting the site. This is also a great lead generation opportunity. It can directly generate buyer leads and indirectly it can also help you generate seller leads. How so? When they see that you offer something like that to potential buyers or buyer prospects, they will perceive you as someone who offers something special, who goes the extra mile. Number three is hyper personal Hyper personalization. Hyper personalization. Now I got it. And you can do this when you leverage AI to analyze customer data. Based on this analysis, you can then provide hyper personalized content. This can be property suggestions or tailored email campaigns. All this can affect your conversion rates in a positive way. Number four is influencer marketing. You know, the creator economy will likely double by the year 2027. And today it's worth $104.7 billion. In case you don't know, the creative economy consists of individuals who create and monetize their digital content. To do that, they leverage platforms like YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. This likely growth you can leverage for your lead gen when you collaborate with local micro influencers who have a decent following. They can showcase properties, share testimonials or provide authentic insights about neighborhoods. Again, it's a nice opportunity to generate real estate leads. Video marketing is number five. The trend here is rather short form videos and live streaming. You can use this format to showcase properties, do neighborhood tours and give real estate advice. Live streaming is more interactive and because of that it can better engage potential clients and provide a more dynamic way to present properties and 
the services you're offering. However, let's say you want to focus more on quality leads. In that case, I would go for long form video content. But for that, you will need long term effort and patience because the results are more long term. The next one, number six, is voice search optimization. To optimize your real estate website content for voice search, you use conversational long tail keywords. This improves visibility in voice activated searches. This will help you better cater to the growing number of users who rely on voice assistance for information. Sustainability and purpose-driven real estate marketing is trend number seven. With this type of marketing, you showcase properties with eco-friendly features and promote sustainable practices. In a sense, it's basically marketing and generating leads for a specific real estate niche. In this case, it's eco-friendly properties. SEO for Google search generative engine is trend number eight. This type of search will likely be rolled out within the next six months. Some SEOs have already played around with it a bit, but there is no consensus yet on how you ideally rank your content on it. So if you do SEO content marketing, you may soon need to adapt your approach to also get ranked on this new version of Google search engine. But you may still want to wait a little bit because if you look at the current SERPs, the search engine result pages, they are still kind of a mess after the HCU, the helpful content update of the past of past September 2023. So it's wait a little bit. A lot has also to do with a much higher content output from spammy websites that have been producing thousands of articles daily with the help of AI. Google hasn't fixed that yet. Now the theme I've always had in mind for hacking real estate marketing is to not fall for anecdotal evidence. Instead I want to take a more objective and where possible a data driven approach. After hearing these trends you may get nervous. And more so if in a few months from now, you hear people telling stories about how they're crushing it with voice search or video marketing and generating a gazillion real estate leads. And many will make videos with their Lambos in the background. Know what I mean? Well, at least this is something that happened to me in the past. Not the Lambo part, but the getting nervous part. Then I usually had questions like, what of these many methods should I go for? All of them, any of them? And all these questions I had while I was still working on another marketing channel that I hadn't mastered yet. Well, that's the temptation that comes when you hear of a list of new things. This can be pretty confusing, distracting and keep you from focusing. And you may also have different degrees of liberty in your current business to add a new one or change a current real estate lead generation or marketing method. This depends on whether you are a solo real estate pro, a mid-sized real have a mid-sized real estate business or have a larger one. Where am I getting with this? Well, do you know there are people still crushing it with direct mail? And this is a pretty old marketing channel. It means that starting with a new marketing trend does not necessarily mean it will work. Ultimately, you can make any marketing channel work. Yes, unfortunately, it's with hard work that involves conversion rate optimization techniques such as testing. But why is it so easy to fall for the shiny object? It's mainly because of three human biases. The novelty bias, that's the tendency to prefer new or novel things. In marketing and lead generation, this can lead to you assuming that a new channel is inherently better or more effective simply because it's new. The second bias is the bandwagon effect. This one leads people to do something because others are doing it. And the third one is FOMO, fear of missing out. So you may start with one of the trends only because of the fear that not participating will result in missing out on potential gains. And this happens even without proof of its effectiveness. So that's just my two cents about new real estate marketing trends. You will hear each new year again like this one 2024 and beyond. Being aware of these biases, well, helps at least me to avoid FOMO, fear of missing out and I hope this will help you too. No matter the trend, there are always evergreen and timeless marketing principles that you can apply. Part of these principles is, for example, knowing your audience, message market fit, 
or conversion rate optimization to make your ideal real estate marketing channel work. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in real estate website conversion rate optimization, you may want to check out the next video where I grill a real estate website from a Texan real estate broker. I found 15 things that could improve their lead conversion rates.